do a quick little video on if you ever had to remove the cylinder stud. And a lot of times people put an aftermarket or a higher strength one when they put a uh, performance parts in the engine. So let me go ahead and just demonstrate some. All right, a couple different methods we're gonna show. The old double nut trick, you guys have probably seen a ton of YouTube videos and we even have a two stroke video where I show that one as well. So I went and found some of the right thread and pitch for what we have. Upon looking for that, I realized that we actually even already had some that you saw in one of our other videos of our cylinder hold down tools. So if you remember in our series, one of the, I think video two or three, we show that. I could take, and these would normally be installed down like this. I could back up two of these, lock them together, and use them in that fashion as well. So I was just gonna show you that, get you to kind of think outside the box. We'll start with the double nut here. I'm gonna take and simply just put a couple of these on. So what I want to do is take and lock these down to each other. Really good and tight. Yep, not time a bit. You can see it's raising up here and that it's actually able to remove it. Pretty tight fit in there, so I really want to just come out by hand here. Before I take it all the way out, I want to break a double nut there. get our new one. We're going to thoroughly clean this hole, we're thoroughly going to clean this, and then we're going to reinstall it. All right, we're going to show you the installation process. On these, you can see we have the flange side that goes down. You will find some Harley motors where that's up, but to focus on this here, I'm going to put some Loctite. I do not want this guy coming out, okay? So the service manager says we can go ahead, get this started. Let's see how well this goes in by hand. To speed it up a little bit for right now, I can go ahead and what I'm uh, going to do is I'm going to use my 12 point socket. I'm using a factory head bolt. And what they tell us to do is to go ahead and put a, a ball on here, like so. Here's a close up of that steel ball I'm referencing, which is just simply a ball bearing. Put that steel ball with a head bolt on there. You can see it bottomed out. And then just copying the manual, they tell us we can go ahead and just kind of impact this down. Okay. Okay. And use caution here. Notice I just slowly kiss it down, not attempting to torque it, just speed the process. And then on the final, it says we want to torque it between 15 and 20 foot pounds. So we're going to use this digital wrench here. We're going to go ahead and torque this. And then we let it sit overnight to know that our stud is proper. stud stayed down. Okay, what we're trying to show you there, you can actually see where the Loctite has spilled out a little bit and that the flange is flush with the case. When you're taking this off, if it started to lift on you, it would not be able to do its job. That's why placing that little ball on here is so important. Okay, because what happens is it allowed it to spin to tighten down, but then upon removal, it allowed the head bolt to be able to lift right off, not changing the applied torque on this. That I want to add a quick note here that uh, not all models of Harley-Davidson use the flange side down. And even between Evos, some are down, some are up. Uh, it's really your responsibility as a technician to find out from the manufacturer through a service manual or publication uh, what the correct direction is. This video series is focused on the Harley-Davidson Twin Cam series and, and for a specific year. So once again, it's not all encompassing. Make sure and check your service manual. The other point I want to make is that a lot of the new studs will come with a lock patch 
already on them that say you don't have to apply Loctite, you just put them in. But read those directions. They will tell you it has to sit for a certain amount of hours or overnight. And I have taken and put in studs in with a lock patch and the cases were a little wore out. So I had to use Loctite, let it sit up overnight and go back to it the next day and verify that it would not spin or would not turn. There, there's nothing better than being able to put a torque wrench on something Torque it to that specification, know you're good to go, and know that that motor can be put into service with uh, plenty of trouble-free miles. So keep that tip in mind. That is how you do a Harley-Davidson cylinder stud removal and installation.